They are the ocean's greatest illusionists. Masters of disguise vanishing in an instant. Ultimate shapeshifter. A genius, solving puzzles, breaking out of tanks. It's more than smart, it's a master of survival. The octopus. Deep within the mysteries of our oceans lies a creature so intelligent, so fascinating, and yet so tragic. What if I told you that this brilliant animal's life ends in self-destruction? Sounds like a myth, right? Well, this is no tall tale. Today, we're diving into the puzzling world of octopuses and the eerie phenomenon of self-destruction. Why do these creatures, known for their intelligence, take their own lives after reproducing? Let's unravel the mystery. First off, let's talk about how mind-blowing these creatures are. Did you know that octopuses are brainy? Literally? They have nine brains, the most among invertebrates. There's one in each tentacle in the larger central brain. These mini-brains allow each tentacle to think, feel, and act independently. It's like they're operating on autopilot while still having full control when they need it. This unique nervous system helps them escape predators, manipulate objects, respond to stimuli display, sharp reflexes, and even solve puzzles, all without any direct input from the central brain. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? And you might have heard about their infamous prison breaks. They're known to escape enclosures by unscrewing jars or squeezing through the tiniest gaps. Pretty clever for a sea creature, huh? But here's where things get dark. Despite their brilliance, an octopus has a shockingly short lifespan. Living between one and two years. That's really tough, isn't it? And it's all because of their reproductive cycle, which marks the beginning of the end for these sea creatures. After their one and only mating session, female octopuses devote themselves entirely to caring for their eggs. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event, and it marks the beginning of the end. She stops eating, stops caring for herself, and instead focuses entirely on her offspring. Sadly, by the time the eggs hatch, the mother is usually on the brink of death, sometimes even before. Now get this, one deep-sea octopus scientifically called Grinellodone, Boreo Pacifica, spent 53 months, over four years, guarding her eggs in the Monterey Canyon without leaving them for a second. That's longer than what most octopuses live for. Talk about commitment. But this devotion comes at a cost. She eventually deteriorated and died before even meeting her babies. This whole process of decline is called senescence, and it's not pretty. During this time, octopuses exhibit strange self-destructive behavior. They become disoriented, lose motor control, stop eating, and even tear at their own limbs and skin. It's heartbreaking to watch because eventually the octopus dies, but there's a biological reason behind it.
All of this chaos, it's triggered by a tiny gland in their body, the optic gland. After laying eggs, this gland releases a mix of hormones that push the octopus into senescence. Scientists found that removing the optic gland halts this self-destruction, but without it, the octopus can't reproduce. It's like nature's cruel trade-off, life for future generations. Now, you might be wondering, why would evolution favor something so tragic? It turns out that this behavior ensures the survival of their offspring. Once the mother passes, there's less competition for food. And for octopuses, this is nature's way of giving their young the best possible chance at life. Her death, while sad, is part of the cycle of life. It's not suicide in the way humans understand it. It's a biological process, one that ensures the next generation thrives in the often harsh and competitive ocean environment. In the end, the self-destructive behavior of octopuses isn't as dark as it first seems. It is a predetermined evolutionary process and not a conscious decision. It's a reminder of the incredible way nature has programmed these animals to ensure the next generation's survival. These mysterious creatures may have short lives, but they play a crucial role in the larger tapestry of ocean life. So next time you think of an octopus, remember, they may live fast, but they do it with a purpose deeply embedded in their biology. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the depths of the octopus's world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more mind-blowing mysteries of the deep sea.